Hi, today I'd like to talk about a very common condition that most of us have heard about and it's a very common cause for visit to the spine specialist. Uh, it's called degenerative disc disease. The term degenerative disc disease may sound very scary, but it's actually a very simple concept. So degenerative disc disease refers to any sort of wear and tear that we accumulate in our spine over a period of time. The more we use the spine, the more we age, there, is, there are degenerative changes which actually take place in the spine, which we call as a general term called degenerative disc disease. So in the lumbar spine or the lower back, uh, there are multiple bones and in between the two bones is something called the disc. So the entire spine is arranged in such a way that the bones are stacked one on top of the other and there are certain joints in the back of the bone as well as the central part of the bone, uh, the spine called the disc. So the disc is basically like a jelly-like structure that uh, provides cushioning. It acts like a shock absorber whenever we move, we play, whenever we jump, whenever we run. There are constantly the spine is moving and whenever the, sp the spine moves, the disc acts like a cushioning or a shock absorber like effect. So that prevents injuries from taking place in the spine. But over a period of time, as we age, like I mentioned, these discs may uh, become dry. So normally the discs are supposed to be having uh, hydrated and they're supposed to be having a lot of water content. So over a period of time, they may become dry and they develop cracks. So when they develop cracks, that can be a source of pain. These cracks and degeneration of the disc eventually lead to the disc not functioning like it is normally supposed to. So this adds more stress on the supporting structures of the spine, which include the joints in the back as well as the muscles. So over a period of time, this may really lead to chronic low back pain. So randomly, uh, when we see patients coming into the clinic, coming into the spine clinic, or even people who are just walking the streets normally, if we take an MRI that is done randomly for any of these patients, we may find that in the MRI, the discs are slightly dehydrated or they are not looking normally like they're supposed to be looking that we may even diagnose that a condition called degenerative disc disease is there in these kind of patients. It does not mean that just because you're diagnosed with degenerative disc disease, you should have some sort of pain or that your low back pain is definitely as a result of the degenerated disc. No, uh, degenerative disc disease is simply a condition. It may be, like I said, completely, the patients may be completely normal and the spine pain may be just an accidental discovery. Degenerative disc disease may even happen in young patients as well as old patients. Whenever there is a degenerative disc disease or that is confirmed by, the, by an MRI scan, we need to evaluate further. Just because, like I said, you have a degenerative disc disease does not mean that you, know, you should think that you will definitely end up having spine problems for the rest of your life or that you will be destined to have spine related issues. No, that's not really the case. Even if you do have symptoms, in most of the times, these symptoms can be relieved with simple exercises and maybe rest or uh, simple analgesics and anti-inflammatory medications. In most cases, symptoms, even if it is present, can be treated conservatively. The aim is to prevent the further degeneration of the spine by providing adequate support to the spinal structures and by uh, proper posture and by proper training of the muscular support that is there in the spine. By doing so, we can prevent or slow down the degenerative process which has already begun.